So today we're going to do these really cute little lacy ladybugs. Um, it's, I guess it's a bit of a nod to summer for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere um, and something for us to look forward to in the sun. Alrighty, first thing first, um, I've done a couple of coats of white polish on my nails as a base. I'm going to be doing a gradient and I'm using China Glaze. Um, make an entrance and pop the trunk and sun's up top down. Okay, so they're the three I'm going to be using and that's a little, just a little sponge to apply my gradient with. Alrighty, so gradients are fairly straightforward. All I'm doing is just going through and, and loosening all my polish bottle lids. It's a whole lot easier if they're all loosened and ready to go. And then just painting bars of the colours onto my little foam pad. Just doing three colours today. I tend to find if I try more, I know some people get good good looks out of more, but I tend to find that for me three is probably about as many as I can do in one go. Things start to get a little bit too blended any more than that. Okay, so I've got a good lot of polish on there. Just go back and put some extra. Don't want to run out. It's good to have these nice and saturated. Okay, so uh, might do this way around. And I'm just literally going up and down and curving around to get the nail done. I've got a lot of polish on there, so it's I don't, may not need even need two coats, might need to get them all done with one. Oh, probably not. But they're beautiful bright colours. Nice to use bright colours. Something a bit cheery. Being winter here in Australia, I've been tending to do sort of more more winter and fall ones and not so many summer ones. So it's nice to do something a bit bright. Spread change. Okay, so very bright nails. We've got that much stamping we're going to do on top of these that I'm not going to worry about doing a second coat. I think they're going to be bright enough as it is. Just going to wait for those to dry and then we'll come back and start doing some stamping. Okay, so that's all dry now. Um, my first layer of stamping is just going to be some, some of the very plain lace on MM44, this image here. I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. We just want our little ladybugs to be just a little bit lacy. So I'm just going to put some fine lace down first before we do the ladybug image. Here's my image. And on we go. So that's that one done. It doesn't take away too much from what's going on um, behind it with all that our beautiful gradient. We're not covering it up too much. It just gives it that little bit of interest though. And it makes our ladybugs lacy, which is what we're after. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the other nails with the lace and then we'll come back to stamp the ladybugs on. Okay, so I'm back, I've done the lace, now we're on to the bug design part of the stamping. I'm using MM17 and this bug image in the middle here. Um, just because it's got a fairly large amount of engraving, I'm putting a fair amount of polish on there. bug. Now, now comes the tricky part, lining it up. So I want it to go right at the middle of my nail and I want to get these little antennae on. So I'm just going to make sure it's all straight. Straight down and up and there we go, got a little ladybug there. Okay, I'm going to go and do all the other nails and we'll be back to put the eyes and the little dots on. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all my 
black stamping done now. Now I just need to put on the little eyes. The little eyes are on the MM17 plate as well, just over here. And they just give this design a really cute little feature to it. Sort of turns it from, you know, sort of cute to really cute. Okay, so there are my little eyes, tiny little eyes. I'm just going to drop them onto the very tip of my fingernail. Just like that. I'm going to go through and do all of those. I want four little sets of eyes on my four fingers. But as you can see, they're very straightforward to stamp on. Let's do another one just to show you. Just lining up the very tip of my finger, in and out. Just get little bug eyes like that. Okay, I'm going to do those last two, then we'll come back and go over the dots um, with the colour just to bring it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm all done with the eyes. Now I'm just going to use a reasonably fine dotting tool to just dot over the little black spots on their backs just to bring them out a little bit. Easiest thing I use, find to use is the back of an image plate. I'm just going to dish out some of these beautiful summer colours and then we can just randomly do the colours over where the dots are from the stamping. Okay, so there are my three colours. Um, just start with yellow maybe. over those just to add a little bit more colour. Just going pretty random really. Okay, so I'm just cleaning that off. Come back and pick up the orange. Do a couple of dots in orange. Generally when you're doing it dots like this, you don't have to worry too much about whether the polish is opaque or not you're putting on a reasonably deep coat of polish so it's still going to show up nearly there I'm not going to do all of them I'm just going to do some just pick out a few little dots come back to the pink a couple of little dots of pink that looks like I put them in the middle of the screen there we go, see better now. Just very carefully dotting those colours on. Just a couple on each finger. Just make them a little bit more fun. Okay, that's it. So my bugs are all done and dotted. I'm going to go and clean up. Now I've made a big mess. Normally I, I was a bit, don't know what happened. I didn't put my normal um, sticky stuff around. So I'm going to have a bit more fun cleaning up with these. But that's okay. These are kind of cute and worth it. I'm going to go and clean up, as I said. And thanks for watching. We'll get some photos up soon. Bye.